What's up, guys? Good evening after work, man. Pretty day. We're thinking about stopping doing a little pond fishing. There we go. So I've been fishing in a couple of our my favorite places. Very Gray's Creek. It's swamp, you know. Fly fishing in the swamp, you're gonna end up with dirty lines. Yeah. Dirty fly lines sink. And these are supposed to be floating lines, right? Nope. After you notice your fly, your line like, oh, how many break? Nope. What I usually do is just take some warm warm water and put some Dawn dish syrup in it. Just soap. Pull off a couple yards and put it in that warm water and just let it soak. You can tell because that, that line will start just coloring on you. Now, I don't really use sinking line because, you know, I don't really fish in water that's deeper than six to eight feet mostly. So, No need for it. I want my in here soaking. Placento sent me one of their rods. One of their fly rods. To check out. They're pretty good little reel. I had one of the reels before. They're really good. I got one of the spin cast. And these are good little budget rods. Oh, I was going them days. Anyway, point is, is that you know most of my channel is about getting out catching fish, and you you ain't got to go drop a thousand dollars on a fly rod to catch bluegill. Hell, I'm using the Orbis Clearwater rod, which is one of their cheaper rods, and just a bat and kill reel, you know? Yeah, that's some, especially my Montana video. This is their five to six weight rod. Well, that's the first time I can, it's a is a warning for not to use during electrical storms. <laughs> I never heard of a fly fisherman getting struck by lightning by the ride. But that doesn't mean I've never heard of it.
This Fuller Rations is pretty good. Or Rations. Fuller, Fuller Rations, maybe. Anyway, it's pretty good. Something different from the aromatics, you know. This has got a lot of key in it. But it's not overpowering. It's not harsh. That bulk and sashimi. Woo! That was, that was rough. Nice one. Nice seat. Oh, they give you two tips. That's a good thing because most fry rods, when they high stick them fish, they break them right at the tip. So last time I checked, this rod sells for like 30 bucks on, on Amazon. Not a bad ride. With the budget series, this ain't a bad ride. Been set inside that warm water with soap. Let's see if I can clean some of the gook off of it. Look at the gunk that comes off of it. All that stuff clogs up these little pores that's in this line and it just starts sinking. You fish in brackish water like I do, trunk water, you really should do this just about every other trip, right? Just to maintain your line. Yeah. Especially if you buy that expensive line. Me, I don't. I buy the, the, the on these little reels right here, this is my little cheap Chinese knockoff. You know, the line's like 10 bucks, but still, it's got a float, so clean it. That's a pretty good, that was a pretty good run. I usually do it about once or twice. The wind's blowing this way, and it's blowing this way, and it's blowing this way, and it's blowing this way. Pretty nevertheless.